Hello everyone, a drone drop video here, but a different one from what we usually see. This one isn't a drone dropping a mortar out on a tank or an armoured vehicle, but rather on a mortar position. Now, not only do I find the choice of target interesting, but the fact that this is clearly a substantial defensive work of Russia's, with a network of trenches which you can clearly see in the video. Yet, this drone could happily hover overhead until it found its target without being spotted and targeted. Even if the soldiers here didn't have man pads, you'd have thought they would have fired at the drone with small arms, but they didn't even spot it. That's surprising to me as this is a defensive network, where you'd expect a large number of troops to be based, and given the use of drones, you'd expect them to be vigilant. But then, there aren't really many signs of soldiers in the position. Perhaps it's been abandoned. Before we look at the geolocation, very quickly, something interesting here, a concrete pillbox. We saw photos of these being transported across Ukraine earlier in the war. They're basically a pillbox made out of concrete with a little um, firing slit in them. So this position is here, running east to west along a sort of concrete trench. On Google Maps, this trench is filled with water, but it's empty on the video. So it's some sort of canal or perhaps used for irrigation for the fields, not a river. Zoomed out we can see that it's north of Blahodatna, and as seen here, it's right on the front lines, which I guess is why we couldn't see any soldiers here. Walking around in the open, it's asking for trouble. They're either keeping their heads down out of sight under cover, or have possibly pulled back to a different defensive position a bit further back, leaving this one. Here it is zoomed out, so it's northwest of Herson, but in the southern part of that theatre. So that's it for this video, just a short one. If you found it interesting, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Take care, everybody.